PSG is like, I'm going to say no. You know that girl there where she at? Like the artist girl in her school until she opened my mouth. There are so many problems with PSG. I think the main one being the coach. Welcome on sports fans, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host Joe Mar. I'm Rush. And this is the Third at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting, and riveting sports topics, discussions, and sometimes debates on the whole internet. Yeah, so today, we're gonna have a little discussion. You know the, the football season around the world is heating up. Especially in Europe right now, it's crunch time. Yeah. You now all the teams are forming up, we're getting to realize. You know, who are the big dogs? Well, we're you know, little puppies. Pretenders, so, yeah, contenders. We, yeah, we, are, we really are see who is who. But today, we're going to be talking about PSG. Mm. And you know, talk about the Champions League and a whole. But I want to start off with PSG. What the hell is going on with PSG, bro? Because I don't know. Like, PSG is like, I'm say no. you know that girl there where she at? Like the artist girl in her school She's until she opened my, <laughs> open my mouth. And they ask, oh, you're not what you, what you look like. Yeah, like, she's just not what she look like. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that shines is not good. Yeah. What is going on with PSG? Bro, um, alright, so coming into the season, right, PSG would have been my selection to be victorious at the end of the Champions League. You know, um, holding the belief that Messi at the time was the best player in the world, right? In addition to Mbappe, who was by far the best young player in the world, right? And Neymar, who is a top five player in the world, at least top seven. Arguable. No People have argue, Well, as I say, I'm with you on that. You don't get lower than yeah, seven. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Right? And then, in addition to the acquisition of Gianluigi Luigi Rama, who is coming off of the best summer of his life, you know? Top players, bro. Marquinhos. Akimi. A lot of top players. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that they acquired. And Obviously, I knew that there was a slight deficit in the midfield, but I did believe that with um, Marquinhos and Sergio Ramos, although he was aging, you know, Kim Beppe coming up the ranks, Hakimi, I, I, I did believe, and do I did believe that that team would have been enough to consolidate their, I would say, lacking of a strong midfield presence. Yeah. I just thought the three people up top would be enough to beat any team on any, any given occasion mm -hmm. and I thought Messi's brilliance would shine too right to compensate for what they might have been missing technically in the midfield however there are so many problems with PSG I think the main one being the coach mm. I think Pochettino is pathetic I've been seeing many memes going around you know you can take the spur you can take the man out of the spurs but you can't take the spurs out of the man and the same Spurs situation. PSG are out of the, of the French Cup, by the way. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they know they're out of Champions League. I think they've already secured League uh, but For sure. They're, they're running run away with League But who cares? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, besides Pochettino not doing a good job with the team, right? I would say that besides Kylian Mbappe, especially in the Champions League, and this season overall, nobody really lived up to their potential. Their back well, line, most of them underachieving. Yeah, their back most line of them underachieving. was not as strong as you'd have expected. Donnarumma still made too many mistakes this season. And although I think due to Pochettino's incompetence, Messi yeah. has been underutilized. However, I do think that Messi, being who Messi is, should have found a way to provide a bit more so far in this campaign. And I think the combination of all those factors are what is causing PSG to be the colossus, the colossus failure that it is, or the colossus failure that it is. Um, it's not an easy job, you know. You know, having the talent that you have, and you have to fit them on the field somehow, some way, somehow. Um, to have Messi, we know that the, the team is really built around Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar. Mm -hmm. To have that, you know, assortment of talent, you have to fit all of them on the field at once. That's your best team. If you bench one of them, you have a problem. Now, to put all that on Pochettino, he's tried it. Him try Messi on the wing, him try Messi fast now, him try Messi in the midfield. It's just not working. No, we, we, we've seen results with Messi um, um, in the middle of the field. Obviously not in the Champions League game. Mm -hmm. But we saw where he moved Messi from off the line in the middle where mm -hmm. it started to work. Which is why I gave Messi 
a lot of to blame as well. Mm -hmm. Because um, in the in the first leg where they played against Real Madrid, we saw that Messi had a big presence in the game. Messi was making things happen. He was playing through passes. He was being reliable. He was being Lionel Messi. This game, not so much. I think PSG <laughs> is just a bunch of bullies, bro. You know, dominating the, the local league, all the teams. You know, obviously, you know, PSG's funding is, is different. Mm -hmm. No team in France can match up to PSG's yeah. funding. So I think they're just dominating all, all those teams. And when it come to, you know, when they're, every single time PSG is posed with a really difficult challenge, they always crumble. Every single time. Every single time they crumble. So is it that the league is just not, it's not testing them as much, as often enough? That's, so they, they that's don't know how to... You know, you got, you're a goal up. There's no adversity. You know, so the, the moment they get faced with something, they're out. Liverpool, Barcelona, and this year, you know, again at Real Madrid. That, 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 I've never, I've never um, thought about it that way before, but that makes a lot of sense to mm -hmm. me. The fact that they're playing in a league where there's no contention, there's no, adv there's no adversity for them to face. You know you're going to win it before this one even finish. You know you're winning next year before this season even done. So because of that, they aren't battle tested as compared to as compared to a Man City team who has to play, who has to play uh, an Aston Villa team who's fighting for something. You know who has to play a Liverpool team who's fighting for something, a West Ham team who's fighting for something. And teams, Arsenal team. teams also who know how to come back. So um, and even in the La Liga, we see the La Liga teams like Real Madrid. You know, it's a it's a dark fight at the top and, of the La Liga. And you know, right even now. with La Liga, it's not as entertaining. But La Liga is very competitive uh -huh. right now, you know. Yep. Very very comp probably even more competitive than years gone by. Mm -hmm. It's not as entertaining yeah. though. You're not, you're not going but to find much. Definitely a dark fight right now. So, um, so maybe they just don't know how to you know pull through the rough times. I definitely can't see to that point that you mean. So I think PSG's problem is and also, bro, man, let you have the hook. Man, the Messi fans out there, man, let you have the hook. Messi is underachieving. Messi is underachieving. Messi is underachieving. I will can't give him a pass for that. Yes, age, but yeah. and Messi is not the best player in the world anymore. Right, but but, but the moment, hold on, but the moment you're faced with another challenge, it's not a matter of faced another challenge. Messi hasn't been Messi all season. I know. The moment Messi is faced with a different challenge, you know, another league, you know, not in his comfort zone in Spain. You know, the family might be, you know, relocating and all of that. He's not living up to, the, and I to would, what he is. And I would say the reason for that is because it just so happens that at the very moment that he's faced with this, he's out of his prime and he's not the best player in the world. No, I'm not expecting Messi to because be Ronald, in his prime. Ronaldo right? made a transition back to, to, to England and he's not playing well. So is that because of the move? Is that because of his transition? No, all I've right. seen him prove that he can play through transitions before. Mm -hmm. right? Messi, Messi, just, Messi haven't proved it. Because Messi hasn't been given the chance. It just so happens that the moment when Messi got his move... But I, I'm not expecting Messi to be Messi of 2015. I'm mm -hmm. not. But I'm definitely not, not expecting, what, five or seven goals and, and nine assists or ten I'm not ex That's not what I'm expecting. Not in PSG. As I said, some people fall He's, off the cliff faster than some. Messi is underachieving people. Let me know what I, you think. I don't think this season is an indictment on Messi any at all. Messi has already stamped his legacy and it is what it is. No, it's not, it's not an indictment, but it's something else. It's an indictment on Messi, it has to be an indictment on Cristiano Ronaldo. No, but Cristiano, yeah. the point I'm Cristiano proving... Cristiano has been so bad this no, season too. No, I'm not saying you can't have a bad season. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the moment you are no. faced with another challenge. No, as, but the thing is, Messi and Ronaldo don't have bad seasons. This, is, mm -hmm. this would have been the first time in their career that they're having bad so seasons. Season. Not, not, bad season is not my problem. I'm talking, we've seen Ronaldo deal with Three different challenges. Exactly. Messi so why isn't he dealing with this one? What do you mean? We see him deal with it already. But why isn't he dealing with this one right now? As in, yeah, right, different things. You can't, you can't challenge yeah, it down to one thing. It's, it's not Ronaldo, like, Ronaldo got the chance to deal with a challenge when he was in his prime and he mm -hmm. dealt with it very well. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo is old right now. Ronaldo is not as fast, he's not as strong, he doesn't jump as high, he doesn't play football as well as he wants. Not as old as Messi. And, and um, Messi is not, not as old as Ronaldo. It's, it's not about who is as, but, as old as who. No, but look at he the cliff. Body age, age, fine, age fine. Is different. Take a, com, compare Messi's stats last year to, com, com, to Messi's stats this year. In an easier league. So yes, he's getting older. But he's also a, it, the jump shouldn't be this far. I think It I shouldn't think, be this far. I think it's clear Messi fell off a cliff and... It, it is what it is. Again, footnote. Footnote to the, to the conversation. To the good conversation. People mm -hmm. can add it. Won't affect anything. Messi is a great player. But, tough to be a footnote. Yeah, he's not dealing with the challenge very well. And, um, yeah. The real challenge for Messi is going to be at the end of this year, guys. People. Alright. We'll soon make a video about that. You know? Make we'll see. November. Mm -hmm. 
But, but, yeah, and, one and more that, thing before. And that gives me a segue into the Inter Milan Liverpool match. Go on. I already want to say something else about Messi. Yeah. Alright, talk again. More than something about Messi. Like, how much time will I see Messi collapse, bro? When like, we, just we, one we, moment. have you seen Messi collapse? What do you mean? Year before last, I think, uh, 2019, Liverpool. Liverpool. That, you see Messi collapse? That was a collapse, bro. I needed one moment. You got your goal. Score the goal. World Cup final, collapse. Like, that, who, who just one moment. Messi got a goal in the World Cup final to score. But I understand how much how much time yeah. we're gonna need you for just give one moment, just one. How many times are you going to fail us? As I said, I'm just in 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 full fatal. in the most recent Euro or uh, in the, the the one before the last one where Portugal won, Ronaldo Ronaldo did not play in the finals, right? The Copa that Messi won this year, mm-hmm. Messi did not have a great game in the finals, mm-hmm. right? It just so happens that football is a team sport. Yep. Messi still won MVP in the Copa, didn't oh, he? Fine, fine. He didn't. He did not. Uh, he did not. Bro, I'm not. Game. I'm not questioning. Bro, Ronaldo the... won the Euros. He didn't even play but, the finals. Yeah, I'm not talking so about the ability. I'm talking, talking about, about moments. moments. Moments that. that moments. Was, uh, These are the moments that show me that you're great. You're the greatest ever. I'm not going to talk about this part of that. But when you allude to that Liverpool game or whatever, what did he do in the game before? That's he scored a hat trick. But what did he do in this the PSG game before? Yeah, but he hasn't been doing anything for PSG all season. Fine. That's the point that I'm trying no, to make. Fine. So you cannot. I missed a good game in the first leg. Missed, but I'm saying yeah, we need we need we need, we need seven, one. You had a seven game in the first. We need leg. one moment from the greatest player ever. This is the moment to show us that you are the greatest ever. Just give us one moment. As okay. I said, Messi is the greatest player ever, and Messi was the best player in the world. But Messi is no longer. Who's the best player in the world right now? We we'll say that for another video. Alright. We we'll talk about that in another Stay video. Stay tuned. But yeah, yeah, yeah guys, join the, join the conversation. It's a heated one. Um, PSG, Messi, what's going on? What the hell is happening in PSG? I, I don't know. Bullies. The hot girl in a school. That, you know, she not so. I'm not going to say it, but I don't know what I'm going to say. But people, run it out now, run it out. The PSG essentially are pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. Like, you get me now. I mean, I try to find the word, but you're fine if you miss it. Teamwork make the dream work. Run it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, banging video as usual, guys. Just giving our thoughts on you know, the Champions League, PSG in particular. Anyways, you want to get on the match right now? Go on. I'm close out. Right. People, before we go, real quick, if each one of you guys can get us five subscribers, do you know how many subscribers that will get us? We are like fifty away from a thousand, guys. Get us to a thousand before the FIFA date. Before, before FIFA the window, window, yeah. Because we know when it yeah, comes to crash, FIFA yeah. windows. We're going to crash it. But no, but we know what we do. One. We know yeah. what we what Mr. Not Sports TV does. We go for some shot content. FIFA window time. Mm-hmm. So guys, bring it to a thousand support, you know. Give the push to the FIFA window. You get nice about with that said, more to come. Nothing, nothing more to come. This was Mr. Not Sports TV. And they're out.